Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. The KF-21 Boromir and the J-20 are two advanced fighter jets developed by South Korea and China, respectively. Both aircraft represent significant advancements in their respective countries aerospace capabilities and are designed to operate in modern air combat scenarios. In this video, we'll delve into a detailed comparison between two cutting-edge fighter aircraft, showcasing a formidable presence in the skies and a key player in the evolving landscape of global military aviation. The KF-21 Boromi is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter aircraft developed by the Korea Aerospace Industries. In April 2021, the inaugural prototype of the KF-21 was successfully finalized and revealed to the public. Subsequently, in July 2022, the aircraft made its maiden test flight, marking a crucial milestone in its development. The commencement of manufacturing is slated for the year 2026. The J-20, also known as the Mighty Dragon, is a twinjet all-weather stealth fighter aircraft developed by China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation. This advanced fighter is specifically designed for air superiority and possesses precision strike capabilities. The J-20 officially entered service in March 2017, marking a significant milestone for China. With a length of 21.2 meters, the J-20 excels the KF-21 Boromi, which has 16.9 meters. The J-20 also boasts a larger wingspan at 13.01 meters, while the KF-21 measures 11.2 meters in wingspan. Additionally, the J-20 stands taller at 4.69 meters compared to the KF-21's has 4.7 meters, from landing gear to the tip of the tail fin. When it comes to weight, the J-20 has a higher maximum takeoff weight of 37,000 kilograms, while KF-21's has maximum takeoff weight is 25,582 kilograms. In terms of performance, the J-20 exhibits a maximum speed of Mach 2.0 and a service ceiling of 20,000 meters, whereas the KF-21 showcases a maximum speed of Mach 2.0 and a service ceiling of 16,764 meters. The combat range of the J-20 is 2,000 km, while the KF-21 boasts a range of 1,800 km. In terms of fuel capacity, the J-20 carries 12,000 kg internally, whereas the KF-21 carries 6,000 kg internally. The J-20 also has a longer range of 5,500 km, compared to the KF-21's has 2,800 km. However, the KF-21 exhibits a slightly higher rate of climb at 304 meters per second, compared to the J-20. The J-20 relies on dual Shenyang WS-10C afterburning turbofan producing a thrust between 142 and 147 kilonewton. In contrast, the KF-21 is equipped with General Electric F414GE400K afterburning turbofans, delivering 14,000 pounds of thrust each, totaling 97.9 kilonewton. In terms of cost, the J-20 is estimated to be priced at around $110 million United States dollars, while each KF-21 Boromi unit is projected 
to cost approximately $65 million United States dollars. The avionics system of the J-20 is designed to achieve comprehensive situational awareness by integrating advanced sensor fusion coupled with stealth and electronic warfare capabilities to deny situational awareness to adversaries. Its integrated avionics suite comprises multispectral sensors that deliver omnidirectional coverage. On the other hand, the KF-21 is equipped with state-of-the-art features, such as an ESA radar, advanced avionics, and precision weaponry, boasting 10 hardpoints for weapons deployment, high maneuverability, enhanced survivability, and a configuration. With single tandem aircraft seats, the KF-21 ensures high operational efficiency and diverse mission scenarios. According to the report, UAE's Economic Council had sent a letter to South Korea's Office of National Security explaining Abu Dhabi's desire for direct cooperation on the development of the KF-21. Surprisingly, the letter allegedly requested that Abu Dhabi replace Indonesia's investment in the program. In June, at Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, in China, a brand new J-20 prototype with the serial number 2052 took off with two WS-15 turbofan engines, powering it. Influential factors for the upcoming sixth-generation fighter project include the WS-15's progress towards maturity, an upgraded J-20 variant, and higher J-20 production rates. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comment section.